Hello everyone, Crimtastic here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to download and install mods for Fallout 4 on PC, because the creation kit was just released in public release, and you are going to probably start downloading mods. So what this tutorial is going to do is it's going to show you how to download them, how to find them, how to get Nexus Mod Manager, which is what you're looking at right now, and how to make sure that none of them have missing content or are conflicting with each other. So first, you should get Nexus Mod Manager from on nexusmods.com slash fallout4, which looks like this. And when you load up the page, there will be a link at the top that says install NMM. And when you click on that, you'll be able to download it for whatever your operating system is, as long as it's Windows. And you know how to install programs, I'm assuming. So once you have that installed, this window will open up, minus all of this. These are all of my mods. So say you want to install a mod. What's the first thing that you think you should probably do? I'll give you a hint, it's not go find a mod. Uh, we actually need to make sure that two things are set in our configuration files so that the game will read the mods. Uh, the first is in Documents My Games uh, Fallout 4, and it is fallout4.ini. And you need to scroll down to the archive section and make sure that s resource data ders final has this equals strings slash after it. If this does not look like this, you should make it look like this. Don't change anything else, just change this. And once you have that done, make sure that you save and you can close that. And then we're gonna look at something else in the same folder, it's fallout4custom.ini. And you want to check to see if this entire highlighted section is there, the archive section. If this section is not here, then go into Nexus Mod Manager under the tools and this button, it says reset for me because I have it applied, but this will say something else. You want to apply archive and validation and that will add that line into your archive section here and that will allow the game to use custom textures and things like that so now that you have your config files set up we're gonna go to the Nexus uh, I'm gonna be using a mod that I actually plan on uh, playing for the channel so here we go it's Sparky's Quantum Adventure free advertising for X um, so when you go to a mod page, you're going to see uh, several different things like description, files, images, uh, comments, forum topic, all this stuff, uh, videos of people playing already. Uh, we're going to be mostly concerned with the files. And as you can see, there's a whole lot here. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, we want to check in the description first to make sure that there's nothing we need to be aware of. Like there's a few warnings here that you might have issues if you're using this mod. Uh, this mod might require DLC. So these things are good to know before you download and your game crashes because you're missing some files. Uh, but as long as there is only one main file that we need to download, we can either go to files and click download with manager on the main file or we can click download NMM up here. If you want to download it manually, uh, that is another process uh, that's not going to be covered in this video, but I'm sure you can find a tutorial on manually installing mods if you want to make things more difficult for yourself. There are some mods where you have to install them manually, but they are very rare. So we are going to download an MM and that's gonna automatically load it up here in Nexus Mod Manager. Now we just need to wait for that to download. So while the mod is downloading, we're going to go to loot.github.io and download loot. 
What loot is, is a load order optimization tool that helps us make sure that there are no conflicts in our load order. And we're going to look at that in one second. So here we go, it's, it's downloading, it's about a third of the way there. And as you can see in the Nexus Mod Manager window, these are all of the downloaded mods that I have. Uh, once you install them, they get this little check mark next to it. And in the plugins area, this is all the plugins that are actually loaded into the game. And up here we have options to launch Fallout, uh, launch a custom Fallout with some arguments that you can set. That's all uh, complex Nexus Mod Manager tutorials. Uh, if you don't know what they mean, you probably don't need them. Uh, so we have settings and there's tips and it'll show you when your mods are out of date. So you can go up to the Nexus and check it out. Let's see how's this coming. It's almost done. Okay, so the mod is all downloaded. As you can see here, it says complete. So we're going to go into the mods tab and scroll down until we find it. This starts with an S, so it's kind of close to the bottom. Here we go. Sparky's Quantum Adventure. So we're going to click on it. And we're going to click on this check mark, which installs the mod. And you're going to see some stuff going on over here. It's going to unpack the mod and add it to our Fallout directory. And also activate it in the plugins tab, but we'll look at that in a second. So it may take a second to install, depending on how large your mod is. This one seems to be going decently fast. Okay, so as we can see here, the mod is installed, so you're going to see a check mark appear here next to the mod. And just to make sure, we're going to go into the plugins tab, and down at the bottom, this is obviously called backtothefuture.esp, and we can see that it has a load order number, and that it is mod number 96. And you can see the name here, and what DLCs it needs to operate. So we need to have Fallout 4 and Automatron active in order for that to work. So now that we have all that set up, we can close Nexus Mod Manager and actually open up Loot. So when you open up Loot, you'll see a window like this. Make sure that Fallout 4 is selected up top. And you're going to want to sort the plugins. Now, this is going to look through all of the plugins that you have and check if they rely on anything or if there are issues between them. As soon as this finishes, we're going to take a look at it. I don't anticipate any issues. So as you can see, we have a whole bunch of checks here. A whole bunch of checks. Checks, 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 checks. Checks, checks, checks. And this is the one we just installed. So it's checked. We have no warnings. And we're good to go. So if there were changes here, we would apply them. And that would fix any issues we'd be having. But as we can see here, zero warnings, zero errors. So I'm good to launch Fallout 4 now. So that is the whole process of installing a mod through Nexus Mod Manager. If you liked this video, please like below and subscribe. I know I don't normally do tutorials, but this seems like something that's going to be useful very soon. And until next time, thank you for watching and have a nice day.